What's up? I spent all the month of July 2020 taking care of my sister in her house. She was recently operated on the stomach, and depended on my care. She lives alone near the city of Osaka. I took this time to evangelize the while taking care of her. She is five years older than me. I would go together with my mother to the church by the infinite grace of God in order to exercise my duties, while my sister had unfortunately turned away from grace in adolescence, because the world ended up seducing her, when she turned 16 years old she started dating a guy in high school, who took her even further away from the holy way, now pay attention to my holy word, and the 8th of July while my sister slept, I was praying prostrated on the bedside in the next room. After a few minutes I fell asleep in prayer, when suddenly, I felt my body going numb and cold, I ended up having a new experience, it was an extracorporeal experience, I could see myself leaning over at the edge of the bed and at the same time I was out of my body, when finally an angel appeared in the room just like in my last experience, he was covered by a light which made it impossible to see his face, except his medium hair that passed his shoulders, and he held a golden sword in his right hand. He told me right away, you have been pleasing the Lord by your effort and obedience, I'm happy to reveal more mysteries of the spirit world, when he said that I saw a big black hole opening in the bedroom floor, I got scared because I remembered my first experience, when the angel had finished saying that. I lost control and we went down into that dark hole, when we got to the bottom, I saw a huge strange gate and I remembered my first experience, I already knew that the Lord was again showing me hell, and it happened that the gate opened and we entered that place, just like the last time, I started to feel the heat. The terrible feeling of death and a disgusting bad smell exhaling in that atmosphere, I heard the sound of many screams from doomed souls. The angel took me to a part where I saw dozens of men being tortured by demons with lashes and burning flame covering them up to the calf. I asked the angel who they were and what they did when they were alive to suffer such torment in that place, and the angel told me these are the dead from the tragedy of the football team of Chap Kents. When I had this revelation I remember that I was touched when I saw this tragedy of death in the stadium on TV in 2016, where a 72 people died, and I didn't think these football fan would all be tortured like that in hell. The angel told me. Football is a source of idolatry in the world, and it was a sport planned here in hell by Lucifer, then I saw a girl who was Christian on earth, she sang in the youth group in his church, a little demon was tormenting her through the anal hole, while she was chained face down on a bench, I was curious and at the same time terrified of such torture, and the angel told me she practiced anal sex with her dog hidden from her parents since the age of eight and never confessed her immorality. She never left this practice that became compulsive and she died drowned on the beach, she is here in hell since three years ago, it was that girl's terrible torment, but unfortunately nobody could change his destiny, I saw men burning in torches suspended in the air with flames to the chest, they were shepherds and bishops who who were married to other women while their respective first wives were still alive on earth, they were in the practice of adultery contaminating the altar. The angel gave me as reference the book of Luke chapter 16 verse 18 where it is written, The one who separate from his wife and joining another woman will be committing adultery, just like the man who marry a divorced woman and will be also tampering, I remembered that pastor for Kami that allows the second wedding in the church, we walked more in hell and I saw a meeting of demons, one of them said, We must increase the time these Christians spend on new technology, we have to steal their time. We've achieved a lot with many of our new media every day, for these Christian and churches love the world so much, that they already accept without feeling guilt our invention. These demon gave terrible laughs mocking Christian that are attached to new media. Another demon exhibited a book and said, Now that we have mastered the minds and hearts of the greatest theologians in the world, we will use them to teach a fake gospel through the theology of prosperity and Christian psychology and then without being seen we left that place, and I saw a big bench of stone covered with dusty books of biblical philosophy and modern theology. The angel told me, 
It is through these false teachings that many has strayed from the faith and has distanced themselves from the truth by believing in human teachings to feed in their egos, and in that moment I remembered what Paolo said in 2 Timothy 43 because the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine but itching us ears will pile up doctors for themselves according to their own lusts and will turn your ears away of truth returning to fables. I saw Christians who were in hell for being too questioning and murmurers against the revelations God gave his children and persecuted the servants of Christ, they reached the point of blaspheme against the Holy Spirit by going against the revelations, they were all deformed half human form and half animal, I also saw selfish Christians in hell, the angel said they were there for not having brotherly love and were desensitized to the suffering others. While they were alive on earth many of them denied deliberately giving support to the brothers in needs and this is a sin before God, the one who knows how to do good and does not do it commits sin, 1 Peter 4 verse 8, but above all have ardent love for one another, because love will cover the crowd of sins. Many of them practice gluttony and were unable to share their food with the needy, finally we began to leave that place and we went up in a speed incalculable. When this darkness of hell began to give place the light, we arrive at the gate of heaven, to my biggest surprise I felt at that moment the most special feeling in all my existence, I already decided not to return to earth anymore, at the gate, there were two angels who guarded the entrance of heaven, the two radiant angel waved and we entered, I was taken to the paradise of God and I saw many joyful brothers enjoying the pleasure of that place, feel free to stay. When the angel showed me a man and said, This is it the servant of the Lord who be faithful to death, he taught and lived the holiness and justice, he is awaiting the award for his works at the end of days, that man had a long white robe, and there were many stones on his crowns, I asked the angel who he was, and the angel told me this David Miranda, he was a Brazilian shepherd very zealous and faithful to his work on earth and he produced fruits for the kingdom of God in many countries because of his dedication while he was alive, I will show you the reward he will receive in the great day, the angel showed me a huge mansion in heaven and told me that it belongs to that man, the mansion had five floors and was all made up of transparent gold that does not exist on earth, he also showed a crown full of precious stones whose composition was diamond, I didn't know this man and his life and not even his ministry, I can only say that he is very happy in heaven. The angel also showed me the crown in the mansion of a Japanese missionary who lived in the United States, and who devoted much of his life to the gospel and spreading the message of holiness and justice. He had many experiences with God and worked for him in many countries, there was flashes in the sky when he died, I say with safety that he is in heavenly paradise and his reward is great. The angel told me that his son is still on earth continuing the ministry, it was also revealed to me that the mansion of this missionary is one of the biggest that exist in heaven, I never heard of that missionary and not even in our country and I was not revealed his name, I asked to be shown my home and my crown, but the angel told me that still it wasn't time, so he told me it was time for me to return to my body, and that experience was to be written like the others for the building of many, and so I did, we went back to the room at my sister's house, and I saw my body in the same position when I was praying, the angel told me that I should persevere myself in prayers and supplications filling myself with God power, the angel told me, demons have been fighting the messages that you have given me since the beginning, they have caused many to doubt these revelations, but as you, just continue where steadfast as a faithful watchman, and in the end you will receive your reward on that big day, having said that he disappeared into the light and so I returned to my cold body, and it was already 6 am, after this last experience I stayed sick for 5 day, and it was my sister Asuka who started taking care of me because she has already recovered from surgery, she felt more strong, once my sister care for me giving me back rationally mine care for her when she was operated. I hope that my beloved sister return to the holy ways of the Lord, dear brothers the biggest lesson that I had in my last experience was about brotherly love, we must love each other without pretense and with a pure heart, because that is the will of our creator that we never deny help to the needy who suffer, and not ignore the suffering of others.